What's up, Parmaniacs? Parostasis here. We're back in the world of Feed the Beast Unleashed. And I do apologize that it has been a while since we've been back. We've got our our nice little happy machine going here, cooking away and producing. You can see the pipes now filled up, so uh, we've actually got a backlog of fuel, which you can see over here, which is cool. Um, there's been a lot of controversy recently over the way I was making the um, the chips. And we're going to actually cover the other way to make chips. Um, I do apologize for forgetting this recipe. Uh, this is the way it was. It worked in Big Dig. Um, the chip maker over here that we've been using uh, is a much more restrictive and nasty way to go about doing it. So... Um, we went and got some diamonds. We're good to go for diamond production for a bit. And we're going to go ahead, uh, and like I said, this is the recipe for the cutter, which is what we need to make this. So for, let's see, we've got our gold block. Let's go ahead and break that down. And what we're going to be making, uh, if you press U on the quartz cutting knife, you can actually see the other recipe as soon as it loads. There we go. This is the gold version, this is the diamond version. Both of them are fairly simple, uh, except I don't have any silicon yet. Thought I'd gotten everything, damn it. Damn it, Bobby. All right, uh, silicon. Oh, we do have quite a bit of silicon. Okay, jumping down. All right, so let's go ahead and put the knife there. We want a gold block, gold, no, sorry. We want gold block in the center. We want redstone, redstone, and then we want silicon there. That gives us a basic processor assembly. We're gonna go ahead and encode that monster. And then we need to do the exact same thing, except we wanna put a diamond there. Encode, that gives us the diamond assembly. So now we've got basic processor, and we've got the advanced processor. Go ahead and put both of those in here. Now, uh, now that we've gotten these, we're going to need to produce a few of them. So I'm going to go back and put our diamonds back in. I don't even know why I took them out of the machine. So let's put these back in. We're going to actually load up most of the stuff in here because I don't think we're going to need most of this junk for the moment. Uh, and that's all the space that we currently have until we get these rolling. Okay, so the other thing that we're going to need is I need to get um, the issue with these things. And I guess I can show you that real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and make, I think we need those for what we're going to make. Let me see. Emmy Precision. There we go. Export bus. Oh, damn it. There we go. The Emmy Precision Export bus. We need the gold version and then just that. So let's go ahead and make, um, I think we need it for this one too, right? Yes, yeah, so we need two of those. So let's go ahead and make uh, two of these. So we're going to go ahead and plus one it. And again, and I'm hoping that that will function. We shall see. We'll give it just a moment to do its stuff. Now, the issue with these chips over the previous version of the chips is you act... Oh, and I guess it would help if I put this in there. We'll take the force shard out and we'll put you in. There we go. Now it should easily be able to craft. Hopefully. You can do it, machine. It may have frozen because we didn't have it in there previously. We've got the redstone. We've got everything else you need, sir. Please work. Let's make sure we did put those in, yes? Yep. Redstone, diamond, and silicone. Redstone, gold, and silicone. We should have put the gold bars in, yes? Yes, we did. Of course, I'm going to come back over here. We're going to have four of them now, right? No. And I'm not sure why this machine is being this way. Uh, everything is connected, yes. Yes, everything is connected. We are good, yeah. So it, it should easily be making these. I don't know why it's refusing. It's being quite the butthole on me today. I'm going to give it one more shot and then we're just going to make them by ourselves. All right, well, we're just gonna make them by ourselves then. We don't need you, you stupid machine. All right, pull our gold out, there we go. Oh, silicon, of course. Need the silicon. Or silicone. Silicon cone, I don't know. You be the judge. I'm sure uh, those of you who uh, have done in-depth silicone 
testing will know the correct way to pronounce it, to which I have angered all of you immensely, most likely, already. There we go. And it's still not crafting those. Oh well. All right, so we need to find our furnace, which is right here. Yes. Pull the glass out and we'll put these in here. You're going to see these are going to cook and they're going to turn into the little chippies here, which is awesome. Also kind of cool. I got some EXP for that. Huh. Go figure. Okay. So now that we've gotten that made, um, I hate this thing. I'm not sure why it's not working for me. I'm going to need to get the crafting computer made. I guess that's another thing we can make today before we do this. That way it'll at least tell me what the problem is. Uh, crafting monitor, that's what we need. So we need iron, gold, and an enemy cable. Uh, we have all of that. I've got, no, I don't have any iron on me. Iron. Got the cable. We've got the processor. I think that's everything we needed, right? And we just picked up the glass, so I only need one of you. We'll go ahead and make one more of those little things here in just a second. Uh, and let's drop this here. Now this right here should tell me why, oh, I guess it would help if I put it up on the system, huh? This should tell me why it's not working. So we're gonna slap this little monster right there. And you can see, okay, Emmy Crafting Monitor currently crafting. It is currently crafting nothing. So I need one of you again. Okay, and we can click here. And it's not missing any materials. That is really weird. It's almost like it's not it's not connected anymore. Now, I have been having some problems with the way some of this stuff works. Uh, for some reason, the chunks have been unloading in such a way that they break. So like these pipes don't work and I think that's what we're dealing with here. So we're gonna test this real quick. Uh, the easy way for me to test this and make sure uh, this is a pipe issue is this. We're just gonna basically replace this whole piping system with new pipes that I'm gonna use from creative mode. Uh, and that should let us know if that's the problem. Okay, reproducing now. Yep, that was a problem. Or not. Let's try it again. Begin. In the computer. And still nothing. Alright, let's try it again. We didn't break all the pipes, so. Okay, and break you. There we go. Since we broke the link to the crafting computer, that may be why. And we're still not crafting. I have no idea why this no work. Um. Oh. Yeah, now I do. Because for some reason, the pipe that was right there disappeared. That may be part of the problem. Maybe. And no. So I'm not sure what's going on with my crafting system. You can see the machine is working here. Usually it tells you down here what the missing materials are. But as you can see, it's not telling me anything. So something is wrong with the system. Um, honestly, don't know. Oh, I know what it is. It doesn't have room. Derp. <laughs> stupid is as stupid does right there. I'm sure there were at least 12 of you screaming that at me. I do apologize in advance. Now we figured out why it was not working. It was because Pyro is an idiot. Brilliant. Brilliant once again. All right, so now we have our Emmy basic <laughs> basic chip. Uh, do we make the Emmy cables down here? Yes, we did, so we are good with that. Uh, there are, however, a couple other things we want to make. Um, we need the precision import bus and the precision export bus, and to do those, we need the basics. So I need uh, a piston and an Emmy interface, and I don't think we've got either of those in here. Do apologize. Somebody has decided it is a good time to dink me repeatedly. Here we go. The dinking will be gone now. All right. So we need Emmy import bus or er, Emmy interface. Two Emmy interfaces technically, and then we need the piston. So 
Uh, for piston, we've got the wood, we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out 64 just to make sure that we have ample room. Um, and then we need the ME interface. Now, I don't know what is required for an ME interface. Conversion matrix, of course, of course. So we're gonna need two more of those, two more of the basic processors. So let's go ahead and order two of those. Hopefully we have the funding for both of those. I'm hoping, yep, instantaneous. We'll go down here and put these in real quick. Let those start processing. Uh, what else was it that we needed for that? Uh, we need Fluix dust, nether quartz. Wow, we need just about everything for that thing, don't we? Damn it. All right. So let's pull out the Fluix dust. We need nether crystal or nether quartz. Um, what else was it that we needed? We've got glass on me, so we should be good with that. Uh, and then we just need the basic cerulean quartz, which I don't have. There we go. All right, so we should be able to make that now. Um, is there anything special about you that I don't know about? Sticky piston, of course. It couldn't be a normal piston. It's got to be a sticky piston. Uh, slime. Um, ball? Yeah, I don't have any slime balls. So I'm not going to be able to make the precision import bus, but we can do the export bus, um, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, we can handle that full as a moment. Um, my last one that I had was right there. I guess I could rip that off. Do we have any slimes in here? Those are ender pearls. I don't think there's a way to make slime balls. Is there with crafting? Ah, ha, ha, raw rubber. And I do have raw rubber. I'm 99% sure we have raw rubber. Raw. Oh, come on. Um, yes, 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 yes. Over here. Now, uh, do I still have my hammer? Do I still have my... Yes, we do. Bam, bam, bam. All right, let's go. Chop zor, some tree zors. believe these are the rubber trees. God, I hope they're still the rubber trees. Oh, I'm still in creative mode from fixing it. There. Well, I made him disappear, didn't I? There we go. Now we got some rubber, right? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down here. Uh, do we have a redstone? No, damn it. I've really got to make a new base so that I can access all this stuff without having to go up and down constantly. Okay. So let's go ahead and clear. Clear. Thank you. So we're going to do wood on the top. We need iron. We need redstone. And then we need... Whoops. Bam and bam. There we go. There's that. And then um, we're going to need one of those. So we're going to go and I, had, I guess and clear that real quick. Run upstairs real fast and make one. Where is it? Piston. Oh, damn it. It can't be easy, my friend. It cannot. It is against the laws of Pyro for it to be easy. All right, so we're going to bang in. Oh, please don't tell me you're out of something. You're out of locks. Okay, that's fine. I got locks. Bam, you got locks. Make me my piston. Thank you. All right, so we'll take our piston down. Slap him in here. We'll put our one rubber on top. That makes our sticky piston. We'll encode. There we go. Put you in here. Now we've got our sticky piston, so we're going to need one piston and one sticky piston. Put our rubber in. Alright, so I need one of you. And I need one of you. There we go. And I think both of those are missing just a storage space and that's all. Uh, what can we yank out of the system to make room? Um, Let's pull out, let's pull out some cobble. That should work. Yes, no, okay, there it is. I see it. I see the beautiful thing. Why are you not putting it in my system now? You have plenty of room. Why are you so hateful? Yeah, both of them have been crafted, and they're both sitting there. 
Uh, they, they should have redstone, yes. We should have iron, plenty of iron, yes. And I guess it's the wood that is the only, we have 15, that should be enough for both of them. And they have the rubber. All right, let's tell it one more time. See, th this thing is one of those things that when it works, it's amazing, but if it doesn't work, it's so frustrating. All right. Yep, and for whatever reason, it is completely gummed up. And I'm not quite sure why. To cancel job or sub job, le shift left click the item. Okay. There we go. We are clear now. Let's try it one more time. Just give me one. What are you missing? This makes absolutely no sense. No sense at all. And I've put both of those things down there, yes? Oh, sigh. Were they made with birch wood? Birchwood, raw warp, okay, so it's, this one has plenty of everything it needs. It should produce just fine. Hmm. I wonder if I put this in, if I can put it in, I may not be able to, um, let's pull that out. I'm wondering if I put him in. It still won't let me put it in. It's like it's still overloaded. I don't understand. Put you in here. Wait, can I put you in? I'm still overloaded. Oh, it's because it's a variable types. Um, okay, we'll pull that out, and that should fix it. And then we'll pull uh, you out, and that should fix both of those. Yeah, that was the problem. The issue is my system is so completely full at this point that it can't really... Um, it's having an issue putting in multiples. Sorry about that. All right, so now we've got our piston, and we've got our sticky piston. Both of those are needed for the secondary part of this. And then we need to make this little monster here. You can see there are two ways to go about doing it. Um, they're basically identical. It's just flips up, flipped up and down. Uh, I believe we have everything there. Let's go ahead and clear. And we're gonna go ahead and select and then cycle. There we go, encode, pop him out. And then we put him in, there we go. And I need to make two item ID room for that, so we'll put uh, you and you back. Now it's saying that I have room, we're gonna find out. We'll make two, did it make them? Uh, let's pull that out, that'll free up another item ID slot. Um, it looks like we're gonna need to free up a couple item ID slots. There we go. And what's another one I can get rid of? Let me pull you out. There we go. So what are you stuck on? We've got currently crafting the ME basic processors, which I guess I could actually put in there. Uh, yep. There's one, there's two. Okay, so we've got our two things there. That was gonna spit that out, and then now that we have that set up, we can make him. So do I need glass? which I've still got, so we'll come down here, slap these. And a lot of you guys may be asking why I'm even bothering with doing all of these uh, this way since it is so hard. Um, it's only hard the first time, and the reason that we're doing this, we really are gonna need to have this completely automated when we start producing the 64K slaughters, because there's just no other really easy way to go about doing it. All right, so we need two of these, begin. Okay, there's one, and there's two. All right, pull those out. 
and clear. Now we've got that. We select him. That's going to give us the that version. And then we clear. That's for the basic export. Now we need the basic import. Plus that. Code. Now we've got that. Put both of those in there. And we should be able to put most of this stuff back in now. Putting him in. Um, we can store up that stuff. We need that. We're gonna need that. That, that, that. And I think we're full again. Yeah, we're fucking full again. Oh, God. Let's pull these out. Let's pull the brain out. And a lot of you may not understand why I'm having to pull these certain things out. The reason why is the machine caps on certain item IDs, if that makes any sense. Uh, so you can only have, let's say, 50 item IDs, or, well, actually, it's number of item IDs is 63 different types. So for whatever reason, I'm capped on my bit rates uh, and my item IDs. So I have to kind of pop pop those out occasionally. All right, so we're gonna make one of you, no, 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 minus one of you, again. Instantaneously made that, all of the steps. Now granted, all the stuff was already in there for the most part. So we'll pull you out. Then we need to select one of you, again. We've got that instantaneously. And then we need to make uh, two more, two more drives. Go ahead and begin that. Thank you. And we need our uh, chips. Do we have the golden one? No, we have neither of the chips. I need one of each of those. So give me one. There we go. And then I need one of you. There we go. Now eventually, I will have this set up to where each of these will feed into a furnace automatically, and the furnace will keep making these anytime they pop into the system. And then they'll import and export, which is actually what we're fixing to have automated here in just a second. And I just realized both of these are gold, aren't they? Yep, not diamond. Derp. Makes sense that they would both be basic, not advanced. Hopefully I have the stuff I need for that. Uh, yes, I do. We'll go ahead and put the diamond one back in. Uh, put you in there. Now we got our two golds. And we drop down here, we clear, we put our two machine decks back in. We got the precision export. What are we missing? Yeah, basic Im export, basic import, basic export. Why are you being a bitch? That should fit in. There it goes. Now it's working. Okay, encode. And then we just change that with that one for the. Right? This is the export. Sorry. There we go. That's for the precision export. That's precision import. There we go. Now we got both of those clear. Drop both of these little bastards in there. And so we've got the basic and the advanced. And we should be able to come up here and select one of each, hopefully. Okay, so I need one precision export bus. So we're gonna go and do one. There it is, put both of these in, pull you out. And then I need one precision export bus again. And did I not do the right one? Precision export, precision import. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we've already got a precision export bus or import bus right here. What import does is obviously it imports into the system. So let's say I only wanted to pull, let's say redstone conduits out of here and I wanted to pull them a stack at a time. Then you can set it up with whatever specific items you want yanked out of the system here. If you don't care what's getting yanked out, you can just use the other one, but this allows you to specify. With the precision import bus, it's basically the same thing, but with spitting as opposed to taking. Uh, we do need a few more Emmy cables. Uh, let's just make two of them if we can. There we go. I need to connect this up real quick. 
Uh, that's perfect. And then we need to, there's nothing left in here, right? No. Damn it. And I don't want to break it. Whoops. All right, we'll do it with this. That should break it just fine. There we go. All right, so we've got that there. We're going to put precision exports right here. So we just slap that right there. And then we want the precision import right there. And then it's critical, I believe. We want the back to be blue and we want the top to be red. Let me turn that off and off, that off. Okay, so now we need to come down here and we need to select one of you, begin. And then we want one of you, begin. Okay, pull both of those out. And then basically what I do is I come over here, slap you, move stacks at a time, put both of those in there. Uh, and then we want these to pull, well, actually no. We'll leave it a blank for now. It'll yank it out anyway. All right, and so what I'm gonna do is, <coughs> I'll be putting both of these in, and then we'll get two of the processors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do processor. Okay, so you can see we've got one diamond in there. There's one, and we got that, and then they will both should pop up here in just a second. Theoretically. Okay, there's the diamond one, and the gold one should pop up here. Bam, and there it is. That's literally all I have to do from here on. Now, the tricky part is going to be coming in. Um, I will probably have to redo my crafting recipe down there for one of these things so that when it needs this, it like when it's producing one of these things, it makes one of the other ones as opposed to that. But um, in all honesty, what I can do is I can actually, there's a device in... Um, the ME system, which basically says do this until this condition is met. And I can just basically set it up to where I've always got like five of each of these on hand. And I think uh, that'll probably be an easier way to do it because otherwise it'll be complicated. So anyways, hopefully for those of you guys watching on YouTube, you are liking this series. If you do, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next clip.